There's your lock and load. There's. Oh. That is so good. The, in the Monster Hunter collab, like, they use, like, five or six different versions of the themes for every weapon. Every weapon gets a different theme in its arena quest. So, uh, and the one that cracks me up is the bow guns get the DMC2 music. Hmm. Because guns. Hmm. Fun. The I great sword gets Nero's theme. I uh, only, I only ever did the, the, the quests for, um, the charge blade. Yeah, so I, I forget which one, which song you get on that. So I never even caught that there were different themes. You should try out that instant kill next time. Yeah, I think you need Alistair to do it. Ought to get them to flip on their backs? Well, they were flipping on their backs, but they were not insta-killing themselves. But you didn't do a helm splitter. Well, you can't do a helm splitter with the different. Oh, yeah, you'd have to switch over. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think you need Alistair. Yes. That's what, that's what the fuck said. Yeah, God damn it, motherfucker. Do your switch. This is my fucking word. So uh, L3 or R3, I think? It's R3, and it does that, and it's super long and weird, and I don't know why. It... I'm glad that... Th so, somebody got a hold of me. There is one combo you can actually do with weapon switch in this game. Where there's enough delay? Yeah. And it's round trip. Uh, you, you use round trip, uh, then you, you switch to Ifrit, and then it. you fucking hit them with anything you yeah. want. But, uh... Oh! Fuck. Oh, you see that? Um, what is, well, when you throw out round trip, you just lose your button, right? Yes, you just, yeah, lose, you just your lose your button. Yeah, that's what it was. Right, 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 right. Oh, there it is. Fuck. Got to figure it out. Probably. These blue orbs have been uh, getting harder to get, but easier to find in these last couple levels. Probably would be a lot easier. If I had uh, air raid. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Like that beginning statue jumping, uh, uh, the debris jumping part. Yeah. You can, you can air raid over that, uh, someone put it out and I was like, oh fuck, that, that probably There you work. go. Got it! Um, this game is so fucking amazing. Like, yeah, no mission select, huh? No mission select in this game. I just kind of figured that out when I was talking to people and I was saying, oh, I'll just go back and do secret missions or whatever. Oh, they're like, you fucking can't, idiot. <laughs> He'll go back, will you? Yeah. And then I remembered, like, how, how uh, getting all the secret missions and getting all the blue orbs was quite difficult in this game, as a result. And, and in, all, in all the re-releases, they really just ported it over. They never actually, like, updated that stuff. Like, they fixed the camera, for, and they updated the camera for widescreen. But, yeah, which... Because that's mandatory. It helps a little, actually. Like, it's one of those games that actually genuinely, like, helps. But it's mandatory to, for the age to address that stuff. But, like, gameplay touches and or things like a mission select that would have been a great, I think, to have nowadays. Yeah, they, they didn't go back and add those in, huh? No. Oh, so fun fact, you cannot change your uh, weapon while dt in this game. I love you, Kick13. Bop, 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 bop. So if somebody actually survives this, they'll actually get popped up like that. Which gets you a freebie. Um, this game is so much shorter than we thought it was, Wooly. Yeah. We talked about that on the podcast. I don't think we talked about it on, on here. Uh, yeah. It's crazy but how again, short it is. Based on you being warmed up and... Um, and it being a Resident Evil game. And it, this being normal difficulty. Resident Evil games are very fast and, to play. And, uh, what else? And... There it is! Ah! And you got your practice file at home. I do not have practice file. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is a game that I feel, uh, I didn't need the practice file for. Because the DMC1 stuff is... Okay, this is good. I don't know how to say this without con being condescending, but, like, there's only so much you can learn in DMC1. Yeah. Like, like there, there, are, there are tricks. There, no, but, this game is a game of tricks. Yeah, but no, but my time was wasted in between uh, verses, wandering to the next, like, door, and just going, oh, that was the door I had to go to. Yeah. So that, a lot of time, like, what you just, like, ran into or whatever, a lot of time was wasted with me, with me running around the map going, like, uh, which is the door? Okay, here it is. Right? Yeah. And in some cases, you just have to run back somewhere or something, and you're like, oh, okay, what? Well, what I mean is, like, as DMC is a game of tricks, it's like, oh, here's a good way to deal with this. Here's a good way to deal with this. It, it is not the, the fucking uh, training room style factory yes. that the series later became. Mm -hmm. uh, 2400. But you are... How about you hold that? How about you hold that? Alright, we'll hold it for a little bit. 
but for... you, you're, but the time is generously cut down by you knowing exactly where on the map to run to. There are actually not that many places to actually go. Uh, oh man, this fucking area. I have to go all the way back. Okay, so for starters, you started this mission, and the first thing you did was turn around. That's correct. So you're probably going. There's to two. There's get, two ways you can play this game. You can play it to try and get all the secret missions in the blue orbs, and, yes. and not. Yes. If I had not, then I would not have turned around. Right. Yeah. So you're going back. I was gonna say you're probably going back for a. Blue yeah, orb. I have a. I have a list that I fucking pulled up for a refresher for the blue orbs mm -hmm. for the secret missions in particular. The the locations of the orbs. That's not that bad. The fucking, um... Maybe I can just... Oh. Let's just try you guys like this. Yeah, sure enough. That's that's the there kill right go. there. Done and done. I forgot about those big ones. And what do you say to the folks that are saying, But Pat, you don't have to do all the secret missions. What? They're very fast, actually! A lot of them are cool. A lot of them, uh, introduce... Um, they don't introduce new mechanics, but they force you. They to force you to use mechanics you probably didn't understand. You probably would have ignored them. Until so I recently watched a fantastic uh, video. That's so good. By, I forgot they were the bigger type. So good. You fought two already. No, no, no. I'm mentioning. I know I fought two of the the larger ones already, but I'm I'm surprised that there is a larger type because uh. I had forgotten prior to this. I because uh. in four I think there's only the one. Um, I watched a fantastic video, uh, part of a series by Mark Brown. I don't know if you're familiar with him on YouTube. Uh, he, he does a series called, uh, Game Maker's Toolkit. And he has a series called Boss Keys. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, that's a cool logo with that one. I remember yeah, that because the, the word key is written in a way that's... Yeah. Yeah. So he did one on Super Metroid in which he describes the progression of Super Metroid. And one of the things that he describes is that... Those three little asshole alien fucks. Uh, mm -hmm. God, what are they called? I forget what they're called. But they teach you wall hopping. Yeah, yeah, the little, the little aliens you say you saved. Yeah, yeah, a mechanic that exists in the game. However, is never taught you, and sequence breaks the absolute shit out of it. Oh fuck! This is. An interesting secret mission because so, this is the worst possible place you could fight these guys. So was he was he teaching you about theming? No, it was teaching you about sequence breaking, right? Ah. And while DMC does not have sequence breaking, well, I, I guess it might. I'm not familiar enough with the game's shit to tell you if it, whether or not it has sequ sequence breaking or not. Sure it does. It does? I'm sure it does. Okay. But, um... Oh! Ah, uh, oh, missed it. Let's switch to a fucking different gun, because this is terrible for these guys. But you said you'd never switch guns or gun. Yeah, well. No, if you, if you land one of, of these... I say a lot of shit. If you land one of these, and you'll, you'll have collected them all. Fuck, it's hard to do in this room. <laughs> um, so it teaches you about the wall hop and secret spray. Yeah, and where at DMC, it will teach you about combat ideas, usually. Quite rarely, it'll teach you traversal shit. Mm. Uh, so like the enemy hop we just described earlier, which is both easier and harder than we described. We talked about how it was do it 20 times. It's, it's 20 seconds. 20 seconds in the air. Figure it out however you want to, yeah. Absolutely. This is the same fucking secret mission as the one before. The, the fight three of these fucks. But it was in a much... Oh, I'm dead! ...more liberal environment. I'm dead. Unless I DT. And you get a green out of it. Ha 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 ha. Look at you being not dead. But that's only one dead so far. Yeah. Luckily these guys, the, the devs realized that they were like fucked. Super, super tough. So they just... They made them uh, so they nearly always drop health when you kill them. Like almost every single one drops. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Um, also, yeah, you got those fucking spikes over there, so... That's a fun time. Yeah, I pre I'm pretty much locked in this tiny room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which... I, you need space for these. These fucks. Come on, guys. Oh, and then they go invincible when they yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
So I'll take this time to say shout out to the corrections in that. Uh, yeah, let's do corrections. The the Helsing date I pulled up was definitely. Oh yeah, you not hate accurate. Helsing and are very inaccurate with Super it. Super not 2000s for that one. That that was coming out of uh, your ass. Uh, that was coming out of a, a Google search, actually. I'm gonna but, die for but sure. The manga was years before that thing got turned into an anime, so uh, yeah. And then of course the the Helsing inspirations coming from Vash the Stampede. Boy, could I not be more fucked right now. And Vash the Stampede. There I go. Yeah. The red jacket. Blonde Helsing or white dates hair. back to I want to say fucking '98. Or uh, some they, shit. I think they said 97 or 96. Yeah, lots of people pointed that out. Then All you, right. Then you got Cobra, the other red jacket, blonde haired motherfucker. So I attempted it. That failed. You sure did. Um. The so the two secret missions that I failed so far are the both the fight three shadows. <laughs> if only I was better at the instant kill. If it was only you had air raid. Then I would have no problem. Uh, so, yeah, can you think of any, um, games that, like, oh. were, defined a genre and just did away with a thing that was early on, like... They, yes, I can. They thought it was a good idea. I absolutely can. Street Fighter 1 and Pressure Sensitive. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that counts, because did Street Fighter 1... Oh. Uh, is Street Fighter 1 the, the only one that matters? the only one that matters. I mean, so that's control schemes, I guess, and, like, that counts, yeah. Because that's you're interfacing with the game in a ridiculous way. Oh, but it did. So at the same time, it did revolutionize with six buttons, right? Mm -hmm. um, oh! It also, it also uh, is part of the reason why I like Mariki One so much because it's an alternate dimension where someone alternatively just decided what if the buttons were your movement and the stick was your attacks. Yeah. What a what a weird game. It works though. When you start playing it, it just works. And thus, the hitbox was born. Well, actually, kind some, of. Someone's fucking bleeding wrist <laughs> created that. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, we're back out here. Everything's fine. We backtracked to a central location, only to have what? Is this the fucking rock guys? Oh, these guys are awful. I guess these are supposed to be Phantom's kids. Weren't there? Yeah. Weren't there Sonic power-ups that just never left the first game? Uh... Or am I think? what am I thinking of? I feel like I'm thinking of, uh, one of the boxes, one of the power-up boxes that was just like, yeah, that thing went away, because what the fuck's the point? Oh, uh, the fucking weird bubble shield from 2 never came back, I don't think. But... So there's been, there's definitely Oh, been. looking like shit never came back from <laughs> Sonic 1. Ah... <laughs> uh. What is Sonic it? One has such a fucking weird momentum to it. There's something. Uh, there's so, I don't know what it is about it, but it's just, yeah. I just uh, you know they didn't have that reg like, this, they didn't have as much slidiness as uh, the, the friction wasn't the same and a couple other things it just were wasn't the same. A little bit off there. Sonic One is like one of those games that's just like kind of invalidated by its sequel. Oh look, I got a light source. Hey, what game uh, did this? Mega Man One is is Mega Man the One exact same thing. Oh, uh, it's bad. It's not bad, it's just really rough compared to Mega Man 2. Yeah, sure. That's fine, I guess. But, I I don't care for Mega Man 1 at all. I don't know if I played it back in the day, but I sure as fuck do remember thinking like, Who cares about Mega Man 1? Who gives a fuck about that? And I love how Lock and Load doesn't leave Dante's side ever. Like it, it is. It is it's part the, of his soul now. It's the other main character. Yeah, it's what he hears as he fights. Oh yeah, these theme songs and Devil May Cry are what they are hearing in their heads. Yeah, don't get it twisted. Well, I, that was actually like kind of uh, not canon, but that was like introduced as a thing in four with Nero's uh, uh, headphones. Right, and then they and then the, the music kicks in when he puts them on, and yeah, you know, all of that. It's like so Nero is just listening. To the time has come and so have I. Yeah. Like all day, every yeah. day in church. Like Blade, Trinity. Gotta get your pot your tunes. Oh fuck y'all. And 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 uh, worse yet, fucking Dante is just is just fucking hearing devils cry. <laughs> all day. I miss my brother. That's he was he was emo and then he grew out of it. And then he grew back into it? It was all about the chemical romance he was. 
Oh man, that fucking. Well, actually, it's not the full. It's not the full refrain though. It's I just went, the feel free to die when you've had I, enough. I went. I went back and fucking. What the actual shit? I guess I'll have to come back to this. Words are inscribed. Sacrifice become magical powers and rides connecting passages to Skywalk. Right. And then, and of course, the the music in Virgil's head is just the church, fucking yeah organs going. And then, so, and then straight into full-on classical music, because the, as, as you're fighting him in Form 3, oh, he sees it as a symphony. At some point between the last this session and this makes one, sense. I fucking went and, uh, actually, oh, fuck, saw the... Because remember we talked about how Dante's a cool hero who doesn't smoke. Doesn't smoke and doesn't drink and doesn't right. uh, do anything, he doesn't swear. Yeah, so, like, yeah. in the design documents for the new Dante in the remake... Uh, sorry, 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 the reboot by Ninja Theory. Yes. Uh, I got a, uh, there's, there's, I it floats this. around the design uh, elements of like, Dante, not this. Dante is this. Yeah, I remember that. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, some yeah. of them are so outrageously fucking edgelordy and stupid. It's the most off base and most out of touch you it's, can be. It's like, Dante is not this. And it shows, I think one of them is Kamen Rider. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes, Dante is this, and it shows, like, uh, what appears to be a meth addict in a hoodie smoking a cigarette. But I think it's a band man. Like, like you know, from a music band. Yeah. Uh, and it's, and I'm just like, fuck. That is, you're not just reinventing the character, you're making the character into the opposite of, of what, what they're supposed to, to be. be. Um... I really want to find that thing. Yeah, so that was the one. That was the one that fucking had uh, not this, and then it shows Dante in his um, in with his with uh, fucking uh, 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 the what should we call it? Next, he's edited into uh, Brokeback Mountain. Oh God! Yeah, I forgot. It was also like vaguely homophobic. Where they fucking put Dante. Stand. We're hanging out with the gay cowboys! And, and they're like, oh, look at this broke back shit. Like, straight Dante's up. red coat, man, that's for homos. We gotta get a cool Dante. And it's like, And fuck. the cool Dante's western <laughs> and stylish, and then they show you, um... Uh, a uh, drunk addict! They show, no, 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 they show you uh, Tyler Durden. Oh, with God. The, with the cigarette hanging out of his mouth. And it's, it's, it's fucking... And they're like, the Dante we're making is the Tyler Durden. Right, in that one shot. That hyper-masculine, right? Dude. Where he's got the cigarette hanging out of his mouth and he's got his shirt off. And like, they're like, that's what we're doing. And it's like, not broke back. Did that come out before the fucking game? This was leaked. This was leaked afterwards. After, cause like, fuck, that's the last thing they could have used, right? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh my god. God, every yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. part of that game is just... Like there are great parts to that game, and the re the the re release remaster or I don't know what the, even the re up just call the, it the, the re up plays great. It's a good action game. Yeah, I um, but Dante is not Japanese cosplayers with their crosses and oh, and and fuck. uh, uh fucking I don't even know what anime this is, but. Yeah, it's just a bunch of cosplayers, and one of them is like a like a the future nun, and the other one's got like Ragnar the Blood Edge, like chains and shit. And Dante is Slav Squat, right? Kid with hoodie on. Yeah, is it a pink hoodie? Uh, blue hoodie. Blue. Okay, right. yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. That's the screenshot I'm thinking of. And then it wasn't, like, it wasn't Kamen Rider, it was cosplayer. And like emaciated street child. <laughs> like, that's what Dante is. Well, it's like, I wonder how the game would have turned out if we... Because you remember the very first reveal, the one that made everyone go crazy? Yes. Dante is beat up and looks... Like, I, I don't say this with exaggeration. He looks like a meth addict. Which is right? basically looks, what this photo is in right? the reference right here. Like, like his eyes are sunken in, and he's just, he's like almost anorexic sized, and yeah, 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 absolutely. But that's cool. And he's got the Union Jack on it, and, and all that. And, and it's like, it's this weird thing of, of, you got all, you got this feeling of like, Japanese developer don't know what cool really is, they do their anime stuff. Yeah. Then, can we, hey Billy, if you're listening to this, can you even write Billy a thing? Can you smash cut to Kamiya hanging out with his mom? Yes. Um, with the fucking glove. <laughs> with the gl with the Union Jack glove and the leather jacket back when he had hair. You know what? You're right. I actually called out the Union Jack, but that was on his gloves right? back in the day. 
I both like like straight up I was super wrong because it's true. That is a motif that Kamiya himself used. Right? Holy shit. But like, yeah, <laughs> this guy doesn't know what cool is. Um He Oh is like and, and there's a head there's so many of these slides too, like the whole thing continues for a while. But it gets to your eventual Dante is not Malice Miser hair metal. Dante is the man in black and Johnny Cash. Oh fuck. right? Fuck off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, what do we got here? Uh just go look up Ninja Theory Leak Dante. Uh Ninja Theory DMC leak slides. And then there's a couple of uh, prototypes that they have. I didn't realize there were guys down here. Holy shit. Um, including a couple of Dantes that just look like Geralt. Yeah. Right? Like these tatted up short haired cut versions with the sword on his back and stuff. And um, it's like. I love that Itsuno's reaction to this was to make a Dante that is now like aggressively fucking lame. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, uh, Dante as old man is now, yeah. like, oh, I fucked up. You, I don't think I can get the blue orb fragment now that, uh, now that the poison is gone. Oh. Oh, well. Um, there's also a working, a working Dante shot here where it's like, uh, when he devil triggers and he's basically like shirtless L from, uh, shirtless L from Death Note and the little, and the ghosts are floating around him. Oh. It's really, uh, yeah, this slide shows you exactly why Fuck. we got DMC Devil May Cry the way it was, you know? And I mean, the, you go back and you fix the gameplay, but some of those design cues and, like, the aggressiveness with which they defended them yeah. was uh, really, really hilarious now, looking back at it. And it's, it's this thing, it's like, to me, we can all see that you made the character look like you. We, we can see it. It's really clear. I'm not sure why you've tried to downplay that. He has the same haircut as you in the fucking interview you maybe, first did about the game. Maybe he got that haircut after he, the character was designed. Maybe he liked that hair after. Like, you know what? You know what? And you know what? Have you ever taken a look at uh, Adam Jensen and then a photo of JJB? I have not. A JJB being... Uh, 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 I'm not personally familiar. Oh, well, uh, Deus Ex writer, creator. Got it. Dude, etc. Um, but, same. Same, same fucking... There you go, Wolves. <laughs> so, you know, it's not unheard of. Japanese it, characters... It's not unheard of. ...are not... Like, Itsuno is not Dante, and Kamiya is not Dante. No, but a million other ver uh, uh, visual novel, like, students with no faces, because their hair covers it, oh. are self-inserts. <laughs> they yeah. sure are self-inserts. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. So I'm just getting air hike so I can see if I can actually. Mary Suism is alive and well all over the world. Trust. Ah! You can get it, but how? Uh, I can't. I yeah, I can't get it anymore. Well, you, you have to come down here and then you jump up like that. But because in this game, air ray. Uh, sorry, double jumps and air hikes share the same recharge. Well, hey, now you got. Now well, that's where it hike. is. You gotta do it before you. You gotta do it before you do it. And now you got air hike, so you're fine. I'll, I need. I legitimately probably need air hike to get the next one. So, that's that's why I got it. Yeah, I, I only got it for the blue war bully, not for you. Oh, okay. yeah. Well. Anyway, that being um, said, well, it is so here's a photo have. of uh, Jonathan Jacques Beltet. Uh, your your. That's, head. that's a good fucking last name. Um, so that's a that's a beautiful head for those of you that yes. don't speak French. This is a photo of what he looks like. Oh, that is Adam Jensen. <laughs> that is just Adam Jensen. That is hilarious. Yeah. That is really funny. It's fucking quite, wow. Yep, yep. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how many people know about that. Holy shit. But that's your Dante to meme situation in a different, oh, man. In a different light. <laughs> I always like that one. You know what? Because he was walking around the Eidos Montreal office and be like, "Oh shit, there goes Adam." You know what I actually <laughs> yeah. really like about DMC One uh, compared to you know DMC One, DMC Two, and uh, sorry, DMC One, Three, and Four all follow the exact same uh, path of uh, what do you call it? Uh, story seriousness. Mm -hmm. 
a little bit serious at the beginning. Just a little bit. Very not serious. Aggressively unserious for 99% of the game. Then a little bit serious. Then again. getting a little bit serious. A little bit serious again. Oh no, we actually have to fight the guy. But also, the second time they try to be serious, it's awful. And it's, therefore the best. It's very awful. Very it's awful. filling your dark soul with light. It's Curie. It's uh Why well, you don't you don't like Curie? It's Devils Never Cry. <laughs> I remember Right? I remember when um when I was fighting the final Virgil fight. Uh, in TMC3, and there is another terrible soul line in that. And so we sh we may share the same blood, but we also share his soul. And right now, my soul is saying to stab you! <laughs> right? That one? Like, my sister just passed through the room. Oh, no! And it was like, oh, what? No. And it was like, what the fuck? And you were like, shut up! Shut up! It's cool! It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> she doesn't know that you're fucking 20 hours in. You don't know! <laughs> and this is the final time, and the music is playing, and you're on the waterfall, and you just had jackpot, and you're coming off of jackpot high, and she doesn't know that that line, at that time, in the <laughs> situated in your living room, is cool. But you had to be there, sis. Shut up. Do I have to get this before Griffin or after Griffin? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, video games. They're awful. God damn it. I don't know it. if you know this, Wooly, but video games God are fucking damn stupid. It. You can't you can't cut it and isolate it and show it to anybody. It's but, impossible. Uh, oh there we go, there it is. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it's just like like again, it takes it, it, like eventually. If not immediately afterwards, you go, boy, that was dumb, but it was also the best. Here's someone speaking to me. It's out of my mind. Offer sacrifice at the Coliseum. It shall connect to the path of the Wheel of Destiny. So I remember, like, every time we caught a new, um, uh, 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 uh like, Devil Bringer animation. Oh, fuck. I just hit the wrong button. Goddamn. All right. Um, I'm sorry. I had a missed open. call on my phone and was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck would call me? So every time you, because because the Devil Bringer has context sensitive command grabs, right, throughout the course of DMC4, and yep. uh, every time we would like encounter a new one, I remember uh, me and uh, Shmup God Pat would just be like quoting the lines and being like super hype about it, because when you're taking on um, uh, 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 when you're taking on God, what's a Sanctus? Right before the savior is coming and yeah. all that, he just, and he keeps shouting it out and whatever. And when you finally work your way in and land that grab, and he just goes, "I'm sick and tired of your bullshit." And he hits him, and we're like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah." I'm really sick. Shut up. Shut up, Dad. Shut up, Mom. <laughs> I'll get you. I'm in. To listen to my music. So sick of your bullshit. I'm in my room. <laughs> I got my devil arm. Yeah, I, I know how it got like that. It's gross. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna save my girlfriend. You don't. I know you don't like her. It's fucking. Shut up. And her stupid snobby brother is always getting in the way and saying we can't hang out. Fuck that guy. I'm cool. She likes me. For me. We're gonna run away and start a band. <laughs> It's gonna be called Devils Never Cry. <laughs> <laughs> and find it. Who's this old fucking geezer that hangs around and makes fun of me, and laughs and beats me and, and beats me at everything? And is clearly way cooler. And Stein, he's laughing at my. Pain. Oh, he's my uncle. Oh, I hate this. Stop laughing at my pain. Stop it. Just because my mom likes you and you're hanging around the house now doesn't mean I can't beat you. I can fucking beat you. Why is anti trish in blackface? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I can take, I can take oh, that old man. man. I should pay attention. You should. Just... Oh, this is going bad. Walking around the house with... Ready to... Ready, <coughs> ready to fight your stepdad energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting yourself hyped up. Listening to, listening to the... Feel free to die when you've had oh, enough. Oh, this is bad. That is... You're okay. You're okay. This is very... Very awkward. Maybe an item might help. Hell, fuck no. 
I promise no items. You you already used you already used a bunch, whether or intentionally oh, or you not. You can't not. That's not fair. I mean, the comments called it out. Fuck that. Oh, that's crap. Yeah, you can lame this if you want to lame it. Hell yeah, I'm gonna lame it. You know what's lamer than lame? Dead. Being la oh fuck. Yeah. You do all sorts of lame shit look in this at, house. Wow, look at your dull. <laughs> no! Oh. God! Oh. 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 oh! oh my god, magic figure! Yeah! <laughs>